Like, yeah, no. Oh my god, I just I don't want to be the black cat. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm taking a break from being here, and all of my friends come here, and I can sit this stage. <laughs> all of the friends I made come here, and I'm like, I need a break. I can't stand it here. I get made fun of. I get hated on for no reason. I'm an easy target. I got the. It's VR shop, bro. I'm telling you, you can't do shit on you. Yeah, but it's like mainly this world because it's the go-to. Black Hat is the VR chat. It's people get a quest and they come on here and then they like, you know, like it's the world. And then like I've been to like group public of like prison escape and like the furry community so much more positive than anything you will ever find in here. Like even if you're not a furry, just join and you like You'll be happy. Like you never experienced that on VR chat. Like what the? F like, <laughs> oh my god. How long have you been playing VR chat for? Since 2020, when COVID hit. How long? Like you know, let's say given like a week, do you typically spend oh in VR chat? God. Uh, I don't know. Most nights I get on here. I don't know hour wise. I'm not sure. Yeah, just to get on and hang out with my alien brother. A little, little bit in the evening type of thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's up, yep, brother? Yep. A long time. I don't. I don't remember. Years. Years. Okay. Whenever I got the headsets. How uh how often like uh like on like a weekly basis like how long do you play it? Like nah, a just couple on hours? the weekends. Just on the weekends. Okay. But you've been playing it for years on the weekends and stuff. Yeah, I got like. 1,386.9 hours? That's what it said, supposedly. Okay. A few months. Just a few months? Yeah. Are, are you playing, like, a I VR got, headset? Like, uh, yeah, I got, like, the Oculus. Right. Oculus. Since 2023. Okay. So like one year. So about a year. Yeah. Like how many hours, like in a week, do you probably play VR chat specifically? Five hours before before it's nighttime. Four years. You've been playing VR chat for four years. Yeah. How how long like uh like on like a weekly basis do you spend like on VR chat? So, um, okay, um, like in a week, this week, I only play Lexi. So, two, so on this Monday, I would like play only like three hours, three, four, um, and then the other one, like around five, and then four. So, I only like play like I don't play a lot. I only play like maybe like six hours max, like every single day. I guess I don't know. Like I, I don't know. I only get on for like only like like two hours. Like maybe around twenty four hours. There you go. A week. Twenty four hours a week. Okay. Yeah, because I got jobs. So I've been playing VR chat for about four years. How often, like, let's say, like, on a weekly basis, do you play? I play, like, I mean, I don't want to sound like a loser, but, like, I play, like, pretty f often because, like, I got friends on here and I do stuff on here. Like, I compete in tournaments on a game on here. So, like, I do stuff on here. So I'm pr on here, like, pretty often. Like, maybe, like, damn, every day of the week, low-key. I have played so for almost so an exact amount is 1,090 or 1,080 something hours. So I've played oh no no sorry 1,800 hours. What am I saying? Um, I play okay. So I started. I had my PC in March, correct? Spooky. I had it in March, right? That's when LJ gave me the PC in March, right? March 2023 yeah, or 2022. So. Yeah, March 2023 or 2022, I had it, and then I started streaming Left 4 Dead in April, and then I discovered VR Chat later in April of 2023, basically. Okay, so, so I've had it for a long time. How, how often, like, 
like on a like like a weekly basis how how often do you play it like how many hours a week or something well like compared that? to left for dead well compared to that left for dead 2 it's always every day because that's my childhood for 16 and a half years but with vr chat at least at least once or twice a week i always make sure okay i rarely <laughs> never play it in a week <laughs> fuck i couldn't mute my bad uh bless you brother what sorry, i couldn't mute i'm sorry no you're good please uh, continue sorry uh spooky s sneezed no it's okay so why why do you come why do you come and play vr chat what is the like what is the reason that you come here to escape reality and hang out with my girlfriend okay and my friends i come here to play and just <laughs> okay so so i come here to just experience it and as me wearing a furry avatar, I realized when I went to the furry hideout was the first world I've ever been to, which after Black Cat, I realized, okay, Black Cat's just for trolling and shit. So I went to furry hideout and I got, it helped with my social skills, if that makes sense. Helped with my social skills IRL and online as a person because my extroverted self is really weak compared to being introverted. I'm a very introverted type individual. But being in VR chat here, I'm so extroverted, I'm so talkative, where it's, you know, VR chat, you know, makes you feel open, if that makes sense. A couple of my friends were into it, figured I'd try it out, got a, got a Rift S, I think, at the time. A lot of, lot of really stupid people, Mo let's, nine times out of ten, the person you get, you meet is a, a f hard side, we don't like language, but a lot of No, it's, it's cool. 90%. I okay. retarded. Hello. Uh. I know this person somehow. Hi. Can we actually? Um. What? How? How? But how, the you know the. No, go ahead. Go ahead. The five percent of good people that you meet on here are really good people, but there's a lot of trash to sift through. Just slugs of society, jobless. Uh, social interaction because I am shit at that in real life. So you think that VR chat like helps you uh, socially interact yeah. with people uh, more yep. than in real yep, life? Yep. Yeah. Why, why is it better as far as socially interacting with people uh, here than it is in real life? I used to way less in VR chat than real life. Like a lot less anxiety or something? Yeah. Well, I mean, again, I got like... I got like VR boxing or VRC boxing tournaments and shit, and I make money off of them. And I get on here to see like my like my E family, like my people that are so close that I would call family, like my friends Mahito and Stargazer and Shadow ZY. I get on to see them, and like I, I get on I get on to see those oh, people that are I'm really close with. And forgot about me. people people like people like people say that it's kind of like corny. Or like cringe to have like friends online that you're so close to, but still, a friendship is a friendship, a relationship is a relationship, uh, long distance or not. You know what I mean? Overall opinion, what do what do you what do you think about like the VR chat like like experience like the community? Oh no, this place is like a degeneracy. Like there's like not many good things going on in VR chat. Why do, why do you what do you mean by like it's a degeneracy? I said, I'm not really like, I'm like during the daytime, it's kids, and now it's okay. mirror dwelling, and that's about it. You know, nobody, nobody's here to be silly anymore. Like I said, slugs of society, just scraping the bottom of the barrel, the scraps of the leftovers of unwanted, jobless, <laughs> unloved people, mostly. Why do you think the VR chat attracts those kinds of people? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think that people have a lot of time on their hands. And they probably, their parents probably bought them a headset or something. Or a PC. And they get on here to talk to people. Do you they use it as an excuse to talk to kids. That too. That happens a lot. Yeah, um, horrible. Horrible. This place is horrible.
Yeah, it's it's a pretty it's a pretty bad place. Just I feel like it's feel. I mean, there's good times. It, of course, I can't say that there's not good times. There's there's a lot of good times, but at the same time, there's a lot of bad times. I mean, if you involve yourself that deep, you can get into a lot of drama. There's hella pedos running around. A lot of just weirdos. Um, you know what I mean? Just like just weird ass people. Even some of like developers for like the games and the worlds and shit. I'm just weirdos. It's dangerous on here too. Like it's really dangerous. Like it, it, like people just run around doxing people and shit for fun. And you know what I mean? It's it's just hella weird. I don't suggest ever like getting on VR chat in the first place. But if you do, then uh, shit, you're gonna get hooked. If you if you really involve yourself, you're gonna get hooked. It really depends on what community you support and all the groups that you represent. Like, I know some of the groups I represent are really freaky. Some of them are, like, straight up. I'm, like, I'm a Spotify-type guy. I love YouTube. I love Left 4 Dead 2, like I said. The Left 4 Dead franchise. Um, I like, like the furry community because they're more open and they let you, you know, expand your knowledge and, you know, your freedom and, you know, your opinions on it and everyone's respectable there. And I don't mind a black cat, but it has to be, I have to be on the black cat with a friend. It's kind of like the black cat with here, the experience of the community. You ha- it's like a bar. You have to, but, but and since it's a virtual bar type thing, or virtual hangout, you have to be with one friend. Go in there by yourself on stream with me, I can't. Because it's weird, and it's, you know, the experience is not as fun when you have a friend with you, at least on this world. But like... Cat. Welcome to the black cat. Yes, sir. <laughs> but no, with furry hideout, you can go by yourself and you won't have any problems at all. Maybe the usual little kids being complete ignorant, mature, unmature people. Immature people. There you go. Let me correct my wording. Um, but overall, overall in a simplified way, the community, I'll give it a ratio rating of like a 7 out of 10. Okay. It just depends on what you are open to, and it depends on what you choose. What do you think, like, is the reason for the, like, the, I guess the community, like, the vibe of it, like, moving more towards either, uh, the, it's like, the squeak, VR like crazy squeakers or, or de degenerates or whatever, like, why do you think it ended up this way? Because the vibe were off, and then people like this showed up. Well, you don't hate me. Alright, f*** you, Radicus. <laughs> this is, this oh, is why know, Johnny man. loves me more than you. All right, them are fighting words. I'm gonna knock your teeth out. Get over here, yeah, slag. Come here, I'll come here, motherfucker. Fuck. You can talk to me that way. Don't talk to me like that, bitch. All right, you go just back ruined my interview. Now I'm not gonna get a job. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, like, like that initial whole. Oh my God, it's VR has worn off. So now you only got the people that want to thrive here, like on the daily. Why do you think oh, that? Radicus. Why do you think there's so many people who spend like so much time in VR chat? Oh, it's the same reason people play on like World of Warcraft and shit. You get like that little dopamine click when you did a quest. Well, now you get that social click. Same fucking stuff. People hiding from reality. You 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 talk a little bit about escaping reality. Like why why is VR chat like a replacement? Like, for reality? Why is it, like, your means to escape reality? Like, when I have problems, I would just get on here, chill, relax, listen to music. Oh, no, yeah, like, I have a friend, um, his name is Core. he's, uh, 21, I'm pretty sure. Um, uh, he told me that he just, how does it, um, uh, dropped, not dropped out, uh, what is it called that when older people just don't go, I uh, retired, so he retired, I don't know what he do for a living, but he told me he retired, but this guy, he, um, he just on this game 20 hour, like 24 hours, like the only time he get off is like when he go to shower or go to like, you know, go to eat. But other than that, he's always on here 24 hours. So I know what you're trying to like trying to do. And there's people that exist in this VR yeah, chat world. So it's just there's a lot of people that are always on here. 24 hours. Me personally, I, I like to go outside. I have a friend groups. 
that I talk to people in real life, not just this game. I mostly don't date in here because it's like, I don't, like, I have trust issue. So I'm more into, like, in real life person. So, and this is, this is just my, my silly friend. So, yeah. Huh. Why do you, why do you think that your friend spends so much time like in VR chat rather than anything doing anything else? For what I think, this is just my opinion. I feel like like I will say like he's not that handsome in real life because I see how he is. He's huge. I don't know how like how fat he is, but he's huge. All he told me is that yeah. That too. It's like probably insecure how you, he look, and you know he can't make a lot of people because a lot of people in real life told him that he gave weird vibe. That's probably why. And also, I don't know. It's like more easier to communicate in here because you know other people don't know how you look like in real life. They can't really judge you. The only thing that they can judge is your voice and how you act. So that's what I think. So I've seen uh videos where people talk about how vr chat will make them feel more lonely do you think that this game makes you feel more or less lonely that, uh, well i mean in my situation i feel like yes because i feel like you know you know what i mean i i, I yes because i feel like the only people i can really talk to are my friends and when they're not around i feel so lonely like my friends on here because most of the, like, my situation at my school, I'm in a pretty bad area. So, like, it's mostly people I can't relate to. Like, people that don't watch anime, blah, blah, blah. You know, like, they don't play games like this. Like, I feel like I can't relate to them or talk to them about anything. I'm not a loser or anything. I just feel like I can't talk to them like how I would my online friends. So, when they're not around, I feel really lonely. You know what I mean? Lonely? You talk to people on here. It's about the same as having friends on games. This isn't a substitute for making real connections with real people, but... Yeah, sometimes, but sometimes I like to be alone in VR chat, go to the music and chill world, listen to music, or even go to Popcorn Palace, watch movies. But stream, but mostly Twitch streaming this game. Twitch streaming got me into it too. But one of my OGs, which is right over here, Muck, I met him through Furry Hideout. He's one of my OG's friends I've had for a long time. Mm, being in VR chat make me... I would say like less lonely, if I'm being honest. Why do you think it makes you feel less, less lonely? lonely? Um, uh, okay, so for how I see is like my inner life friends, like all of them got their works, right? We have a different time, not time zone, like time schedule, like different schedule. So, like, you know, around this time, my friend is working, and I'm about to go to work in two hours. So, you know, we can't always hang out, and I mostly don't know what to do. So, if I get on VRC, I can make friends and talk to other people. Like, I could do that in real life, but the thing is, as you can tell, clubs here in the morning, they don't have clubs or a party that's, you know, that on on a day. So, it's always at night. So, that's where at night times... I always like with my friends or going somewhere. So I guess like VR chat do help me feel less lonely because it's easier more interact to other people or talk like you know just basically talk to other people. Uh, less. You you feel like it makes you less feel less lonely? Yeah, I would say I'd say probably less. Well, I also have a server with a lot. I have like 120 people in my my Discord server from most most people that I've met on here. That are just the people I actually like. So the one I don't hang out here, you know, we'll yeah. get in voice chat or whatever, play games together. Okay. Uh, so VRJ is currently rated like a 13 plus video game. I mean, what what are your thoughts on that? Do you think yeah. that do you think that an age restri restriction is appropriate, or do you think it should be changed in some way? I mean, do you think this is an I appropriate? Th I think it should be changed. I think it should be so much changed. Like 13 plus is way too open minded way too open minded for a game like this especially with black cat and especially with furry hideout and all that stuff to me in a maturity perspective i could be wrong and i know 
Spooky and Muck and everyone else in the Discord would have a different opinion, but maturity really changes and actually starts growing at 16. It should be 16 plus. 13, 14, 15, your maturity gives gives no f Your maturity is like, I don't give a f what you do, yada, yada, yada. Like your discipline at 13 to 15 is out the f window. It should be 16 plus completely. Not 13. That's too young. That's too young for online gaming like this, in my opinion. And I appreciate you for agreeing. Thank you. I think it should... And I got, like since it's 13 plus i recommend 18 plus not gonna lie dude because as you can tell vr chat avatars and the way like i'm wearing this right now and you know like i'm aware there's a lot of kids around me and that's why i like hop on my avatar is pc only because some of them is questy and i don't know i feel like they should just you know keep as 18 as it was i kill do it outside please Sorry, but yeah, I think it just should stay as 18 plus. But right now it's 16, uh, I mean 13, and I don't really like that. I think it's better for 18. So I think, I think mostly a booth community, not gonna lie, they weird me out. Like, I'm a booth myself, but it's like, I don't really like the community. Like, if do you know booth avatar? Like, how they look? Uh, I'm not. I'm not familiar with what you're talking about. Uh, I. I don't. Okay. I'm not super okay. experienced so, with VR yeah. chat. Uh, I. I spent yeah. some time in it, but uh, I spend most of my time playing yeah. other stuff. Yeah. 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 No. Fair enough. Here, I'm gonna show you example of a boot avatar, and it's the community. Um. Basically, hold on. Hold on. Uh, I'm gonna wear this avatar. Just tell me when it's loading for you. Uh. It's. It's. Uh. It's loaded. Mm. Yeah, it looks like a it's anime loaded? cat girl with like long uh, sleeves. Okay, how old do you think she is? Uh, I would say probably, I don't know, somewhere between 12 and 15. Yeah, so this avatar uh, people say that it's a 18 plus person and there's like issue between booth and also uh, anime community where they, like they make the you know the character younger even though they like around what 1000 you know years old and I don't like that especially booth community because half of them as older people and they make avatars like a kid avatar that you know look like a kid and then you know they like and then the outfit like the asset that they have is just like what just bikini a bra it's just like it's just very sexual and it's just it's weird me out because the model looks like a kid and they of course i get a lot of like you know people like start hating me for like oh you know but they the avatar is like what is like you know like a 19 or 20 you know, type shit and it's just like it's just i don't like booth community at all because due to the avatar and then the outfit that they put in the avatar it's really fucking disgusting it's it's like when i see a person wearing boot model like i don't care if the boot have full clothing okay i don't mind it just don't make it sexual especially when the booth look like a fucking kid so it's like that's something that weird me out on vrc like i have some friends i won't call them friends it's more like person like the people that like i just saw in a world and i just send them for a request so it's just there's a lot of people especially both community that make the avatar sexual and then you know it's just giving a pedophil like pedophile vibe so that's something that i really hate about this you know this um VR chat um, part of community. It's just something really f weird. Do you think there's anything that, like we as like the users of VR chat could really do to help, like like solve that problem? I don't think they can. Not gonna lie, because the boot community also really f smart. But, like how do I say? It? It's like they make a lot of money out through doing assets and stuff like it's just same as furry like you know you know 
some furry are weird. I I'm sure you know what furry is, right? It's yeah. very yeah, popular yeah. community. Yeah. yeah, it's like it's like a furry, but worse. You know, it, it's just you know, furry people in here. They you know they you know make really cool world, make a lot of money. You know, yeah, and then they end furry up is very of furry is food. very different than than literal children. Yeah, it's just like it's like almost uh, it's like it's like same as furry but worse. Like like I said, you know, it's worse because it's a f children. So it's like they make a lot of money, and you know. Also, I was hanging out with like when I was like around seven and six, and I was with this. I'm probably not mentioning the name because he's pretty. I don't. He's not really popular on TikToks, but he's there and then. But he's like. He's 27, and half of the avatar that he have is just a booth naked. Not naked, but it's just like this tiny little dot on the nipples, and then it's just like a flower on his... I don't know. It just... The avatar was sexual, so, you know, the it's just like... It's really... It's getting worse. Like, it just... A booth is just out of... I don't know. I don't understand why people not talking about it. People just okay with it. It's just like... It's really stupid yes 1000 percent. it should be it should be 18 plus uh there should be some kind of age verification i don't think people under the age of eight slot on here at all it's cultivated a pretty toxic <laughs> culture i mean again most of this game is just it's very toxic okay. and it's a it's a bad place for definitely for kids to be i don't uh, think kids should be here at all um and there's a lot of people that come on here just they're, they're looking to fight you can just sit in the middle of a black cat and nine kids will show up to you and just start talking shit they don't even you don't say a word it's just it's the angry people that want to fight and you got to just sift through it mute them block them whatever ignore them they they love it when you ignore them it hurts even worse um but then you find some people that are actually chill and, and cool and you can make good friends on here i think some people disagree and again, I I support VRChat, I just wish some things would change, like the age thing, wish that would change. Like when VRChat Plus came out, I, I, I've been paying for it since it came out, just because I want to support it, only because I've met good people in here. Like, really good people that I hang out with outside of VRChat. I've met people in real life from VRChat. Are you are you concerned that like they probably will never do do that though because like it'd probably be like chopping off like probably half won't. of their user base? It would chop off a good seventy percent of the population. Yeah, which is sad. Revenue wise, they that's probably why they couldn't won't do, do that, huh? Probably not. Yeah, okay. but who knows? Ideally, that would be better. That would be a better option. Do you think it would improve the community here? Yes, absolutely. Interesting. Okay. I mean, shit. It's like, it's like Call of Duty, man. I mean, it's rated like eight. It's rated M for mature, but I was still like eight years old playing it. So. Well, so this, I mean, but, but VR chat's should... rated thirteen plus, not not. So M yeah, for mature is yeah. seventeen up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. But like, I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying, this game is really like. Like, it, it, it's really bad. Like, either way, it should be rated, like, like, it should be rated M for Mature because of how it is. Like, I can walk upstairs probably right now and see, like, a half-naked girl, like, twerking on somebody. And, like, again, like, as my first experience, I was like, what? I was like, I was young when I started this game. I was way below 13, so, I mean... I was like, I was like doing a bunch of shit that I was not supposed to be doing as like a little boy, and how I like lost my innocence is because of this game, kinda. I can't even lie. I lost my innocence because of this game, and I regret coming on here. I kind of like wish I'd just been a normal boy and like just went outside or something, played with and played with my friends. I just decided to get a VR and get on here because I heard about it. No, no, get the kids out. No, this is this is not a safe place for thirteen year olds. In what capacity? No, I'm <laughs> like all of them. I'm just like all of them? <laughs> what do you mean by that? Yeah, no, no. This is this is not like mentally safe for people developing. Oh, yeah. What is it, bro?
is the main concern that like just Aww. other people's behavior or is Nothing. it like also i mean i know there's a lot oh, of yeah. like like nude avatars mm -hmm. and like stuff like that that oh yeah issue. all of that like this the sexual stuff people's behavior i mean if you're sensitive at all and you're not used to the internet stuff you ain't gonna like it here what do you think about that do you think it should remain at 13 plus do you think it should be moved to 15 16 17 18 plus i mean what do you what do you what are your thoughts on that move like up like around 16 plus all the way to however old they can fucking get so you would you would probably think that maybe the environment here is probably more conducive to someone 16 18 or 16 17 or 18 older uh-huh why do you think that yeah uh, because Got little kids here that scream, screech, get in people's way, try to ask them, you you want to hang out, talk, shit. Like, they scream loud as hell, so just remove every possible way. All right, well, that's pretty much all the questions I had, man, so I appreciate your time. Thank you so much. I mean, if there's anything Thank else you, you want to add, that'd be cool. Of but... course. Thank you. No, honestly, um, for the YouTube video, please subscribe to Snakehead. If that's your actual YouTube channel, please it subscribe, is, yeah. like, and comment. Show him support, please. And he's one of the best interviewers that will be in the future for the next few years, hopefully. So, yeah, give him some love in the chat. <laughs> Big ups, dog. Like Thank, you, Thank so you so much. much. <laughs> I appreciate this that. Snakehead number one. My guys. <laughs> 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 Sorry, is this how you said it? Hold up. <laughs> Snake one number one. <laughs> Snake head number one. Subscribe to YouTube today. <laughs> Y'all are great. All right. Thank you guys so much for your time. Did I do good? Are you proud of me? Yeah, that was great. That's the outro. So. <laughs>